Israeli and Palestinian authorities say they're looking for suspects, leads and a possible motive in this week's murder of a prominent actor in the West Bank town of Jenin. Giuliano Merhamis was shot five times by a masked assailant as he was leaving his Freedom Theatre, a playhouse dedicated to promoting liberties for Palestinians living in the Jenin refugee camp. Supporters of Merhamis say he had many enemies and many are not surprised by his killing, but they're committed to continuing his legacy. CCTV correspondent Roy Ruttenberg has more from Janine. The lights are set. The theater is dimmed. But today there is no performance. The people who've come to Janine's Freedom Theater are here not for a show, but rather to honor its slain co-director. Giuliano Merhamis was shot just meters away from the playhouse. He was holding his infant in his arms at the time. This is an, a crime against culture and against art. He killed them there in the car and he just walked back in a very cold way. It means that this killer, he was well organized, high professional killer. It's not only someone who was holding gun and coming to do something. So this is a plan. Though he was an Israeli citizen born to a Jewish mother and an Arab Christian father, Merhamis spent much of his last 15 years promoting the theater here in Jenin, home to thousands of Palestinians who in 1948 fled what is now Israel. His students say they are shocked by his murder. They called him their Malcolm X. For me, he's a father. He's, uh, it's more, he's a godfather for us. He's a, he's a teacher of what the meaning of the freedom what the meaning of uh, human, what the meaning of culture, what the meaning to be active, professional, to challenge the propaganda Israeli and they do it about us. He, told, he always told us, you should to challenge yourself before you challenge the, your enemy. In a region so often defined by black and white, Mayor Hamis lived in the gray. In doing so, he managed to anger nearly everyone involved in the conflict. Palestinian groups criticized his productions as being too provocative. He, in return, criticized them for speaking only with guns. And he repeatedly challenged Israel's occupation of the Palestinian territory. Occupation means mentally, physically, closing you in, a, in a corners, uh, putting you in a place just only, uh, you will be busy only for food, without finding life, joy, fun, art, uh, freedom of speech and this is what we are trying to create for the children young and adults and everyone a new theater house is currently under construction but building had stopped due to permit issues janine's governor says that will be fixed sure we will help them to get a permit we help them already to build the first theater and we will continue to help because it is palestinian culture and will never be ashamed of our culture Directly behind me is the governor's office. Now, perhaps the clearest indication of his support is simple geography. Just a few steps to my left, and you can actually see the infrastructure for the new theater. Organizers say once it's open, once it is operational, it will show the world that the city of Janine is committed to preserving Mer Hamis's message. It's a message perhaps most clearly stated by the man himself. We hope that this theater will generate a political artistical movement of artists who are going to raise their voice against, against women discrimination, against ch children discrimination, against uh, uh, violence, unnecessary violence against civilians, uh, to generate a new, a new uh, to bring back the just cause. We are not terrorists. Now, Mayor Hamisa's students will have big shoes and empty seats to fill. And they'll have to do it without him. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV, Janine. That's it for this news update. I'm Kat.